Good afternoon, everyone. It's Tuesday, August the 14th, and I hope uh, your week this week is starting out well. I just came back from a mini vacation this weekend, arrived last night and back at her uh, with full gusto today in, uh, in getting back to work. So there's an article here that I read by Mr. James Clear, and I got hooked to him from my mentor in our business, Nathan Ricks, you should check him out, James Clear. And the article today was, what is your average speed in your life? What is the, your average speed in your life, your health, and your work? He spoke about a friend of his, this Nathan gentleman, not related to Nathan Ricks, who recently finished a book, writing uh, a book in just nine months. Can you imagine a book in nine months? And, 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 and he goes on to say, how did he do it? He literally wrote a thousand words per day which is the equivalent of about three pages, but he did it every single day for 253 straight days. Now, he wasn't the maniac, as he says in the article, where he rushed into his cabin and at high maximum speed, maybe he did 20, 30 pages one day for the second day, and he could not obviously keep that sustainable pace and then literally flattened out. Anyone he speaks about in this article can have a feel, a burst of inspiration. Head to the gym, push yourself for that single workout. That's maximum speed. We waste a lot of time, he says in this article, obsessing over it. How hard was your workout? How motivated were you? How fast were you pushing? But what if you were to average all the days of the last month, of the last three months, of the last year? What is your average speed then? And he talks about the surprising thing about average speed in this article. It doesn't take very long for average speed, not incredible speed, but average speed to produce incredible results. So often he says we waste our time and energy thinking that we need a monumental effort to achieve anything significant. And I want you to sort of look at your business in terms of whatever you're looking to accomplish. We tell ourselves that we need to get amped up on motivation and desire. We need to work harder. But when you really look, and this is the key to his article here, when you really look at people who are really making progress, you see something different. Just like that Nathan gentleman who wrote a thousand words per day, but every day on his calendar, he X'd it saying that today I did my thousand words. He had a chain on his calendar of 230 days without missing a day. Um, at that point, um, he didn't really work any harder than anyone else. There's nothing sexy about what he did those two, three pages a day, but he got it done. So to conclude, what's the natural question that follows from this? How do you and I increase our average speed? And this is what the article finishes with. He talks about habit graduation. That's how I coined this Facebook Live. Your habit graduation, how to increase your average speed. And here are some examples to give you a sense of what I'm trying to share with you that I'm, I've taken from this article. Number one, if your average speed is eating three healthy meals per week, can you graduate to eating one healthy meal per day? If your average speed is exercising twice a month, can you graduate from twice a month to move your body, getting a workout, going for that run or for that power walk? Can you graduate from twice per month to graduating to once per week? Okay, if your job is crazy and he says, if you can't talk to your old friends on the phone once every three months, can you schedule those calls into your calendar and graduate that to calling your friends once per month? And so you get the idea of what he's talking about here. This habit graduation is about considering your goals and your current average speed and thinking about how you can increase, increase your output just a little bit on a consistent basis. To conclude, where do we go from here? We all have an average speed when it comes to our habits. And if you're being honest with yourself, if I'm being honest with myself, that average speed might be much slower than you like. The truth is anyone can get motivated and push themselves for one day, but very few people maintain, my favorite word, consistency, effort, every single day, week in and week out. The final sentence here, the important thing isn't to judge yourself or feel guilty about having a lower average speed than you would like. The important thing is to be aware of what's actually going on, understanding 
that average speed of yours, then embrace the fact that a small yet consistent change in your daily habits can lead to a remarkable increase in your average speed, in your health, in your work, in your life. It doesn't require a massive effort to increase, but more importantly, achieve incredible results, just a consistent one. So are you ready to graduate to that next level? Understand what your average speed is if we're talking about our business, if you know you need to make X amount of calls every day. Don't call 90 people tomorrow and then flatten out for the next two weeks and don't reach out to anyone new about your business, your products, your excitement. Bring that consistency and even that average speed over time will see that you will attain remarkable results. Remember the gentleman who wrote a thousand pages per day, only two, three pages per day, but in doing it consistently for 200 whatever days it says in this article, he finished a book in nine months. So hope you got some value from that. It's time to graduate to the next level in whatever you're doing. I know what I need to graduate to the next level. Hope you got some value from that. Understanding what your average speed is and how to increase it by just tweaking it a little bit more. Hope you got some value. Feel free to share. Feel free to comment below on what you're looking to amp your game or up your game in your business, in your health, in your relationships, in what have you. And we hopefully will chat with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.